It's time to put the kettle on and get the biscuits out and join Kieran Farrell and Ed Harrison for Brew and Biscuits. particularly from Tony Bell, you at the end there. <laughs> but unquestionably, the player of the tournament and the new Betfred Boxing Bubble Darts Champion is Kieran Farrell. Hey! Guys, I just want to do a short speech, just let you all know that. I'm just showing you that hard work and dedication really does pay off. I've been here all day today, <laughs> practicing my darts, and I finally got the, uh, the silverware to prove it. Well done, well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> Two guys, we're here, we brought the silverware, the boxing bubble darts champion, October 2020. I took the silverware on. Did you see that, Ed? Yes, in it, but I was wondering, how did you end up entering the competition with Eddie here in Cuban Castle? Why did, <laughs> why did the team <laughs> you go? I'll be honest, here's the story I saw. I've turned up in the morning and they were talking about a darts competition and I thought, I need to get myself involved, mate. I like throwing a few darts. I'm not anything special, but I like throwing a few darts. Anyway, um, there was one wild card slot, bro. I stayed there all day, yeah? And I needed the piss twice, and I thought, well, hey, I need to take your darts with me so no one can take them away from me. So <laughs> I took the darts with me to the toilet, come back, um, and they'll throw in me. And Adam Smith sent me in the morning at 10 o'clock, and then he come back at 6 p.m. to do the competition, and he sent me again, so over there all day. He's like, Are you still here, Kieran? I'm like, Yeah, I'm still here, mate. Anyway, they said that we'll give Kieran the last position because yeah. uh, we needed the eighth person. I'm like, Buzzing, mate. I'm in there. I knew we were going to be in there, bro. I had it in my head. I was tuned yeah. into it straight away. And I thought, hard work, dedication pays off, bro. And I had it in my head all day. Yeah. And then I was in the quarters against Josh Denzel. I had 74 left, bro, and, he, I, and I started off shit, bro. Yeah, you got like three, didn't you? Yeah, I got three, so I, got, I got three at the start. I, thought, I said that in the morning, I said, look, to Josh Denzel, I said, look, I bet when I, if I get in the competition later, I'm going to do shit when I start. And he started laughing, he was like, look, uh, um, that is what it is. But anyway, I threw the three, and he was well ahead of me, bro. And um, anyway, I ended up getting to 60, 74 left, hit the five. The 19 and the bullseye, but <laughs> sick. Yeah, that's bad. Then we had Dave Allen in the semis. He had a, he's actually a, for, a former PDC uh, champion as a, as a young kid, so I, I thought shit him up against it because he actually beat me during the day. Yeah, as well. he was beating everyone during the week, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he, he, beat, me at table, he beat me at yeah. table tennis as well, bro. So <laughs> yeah, well, I had it in for Dave and uh, I thought, yes, what I'm going to do it, mate. And anyway, I did him and I got to the final. Eddie Earnham, Tony Ballou was in the other semis. Um, Tony Blue beat Edda, and then I got Ed, uh, Tony in the final, and uh, bro, there it is, there it is, bro, bro, I hope, bro, I hope. We're in the uh, room isolated for 24 hours, obviously when we got out the next day, and you, you, you know yourself, mate, it's, yeah. it's bad, isn't it? You know, yeah, it's security at the lift, yeah. outside my door. Yeah, you can't, you can't, <laughs> yeah, you can't yeah, get out there. So the day after, when we get down for the breakfast, um, and we're all sat there, and I, I said, brought up brewing biscuits the first episode, but we were sent out. I sent a link to everyone, so I said to Darren Mark, I said, did you get a link? He said, yeah, mate, you sent it me four times like that. I said, sound them. Anyway, we, said, we, got, we, got, so we was on the topic brewing biscuits, so we were like, like we talking about what the favourite biscuits are, and, that, and I was like, look, chocolate obnob is my, my biscuit, you know what I mean? So, um, I mean, Darren Mark, I think he said he, he was like a chocolate digestive or something like that, but then I thought, well, you know what? And I said, I did, at the side of us, I thought, 
Let's go and ask Eddie and see what his favourite biscuit is, you know what I mean? So what's over? So Eddie, you don't mind if I do a little video, do you? No, fire away. Like I said, I've got a question for you. Eddie, I've got a question for you. And then it's asked him and then here it is, guys. But I'm gonna go with a Gary Baldy. Right? It's my favourite, you know, old school. I like the old school cheap stuff. Custard cream, party rings, but for me Gary Baldy's the one. Gary Baldy. Maybe that's a shout out, I don't even know what they are. <laughs> Uh, chocolate biscuit. Chocolate biscuit? Yeah, I love custard it. Custard cream. Custard, custard cream. cream, mate. That's a good shout. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. Favourite biscuit? It's got to be a custard cream. Custard cream? Custard that's cream. a massive shout. So, do you know what a Gary Baldy biscuit is? I have no idea. So, I was sticking it in Google and everything. I didn't have a clue yet. <laughs> I've seen what it is now. They're hanging me. <laughs> So the winner of the San Buatzi Glow for the best comment was actually Steve Wallace commenting on his beard's account. Mad guy, mad guy, I don't know he's even done that, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, Steve, Bar Jade, you can get it whenever you want, you know what I mean? It's there, it's in the gym, so you can come and collect the glove. Um, hey bro, do you know about um, Joshua Watts? He's meant to be fighting someone soon, isn't he? Possibly. He's going to be fighting on the Joshua undercard because he's one of Joshua's fighters. I think he manages him a little bit. Have you not heard anything? Maybe um, I, 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 I've, heard his name, I've heard his name linked with Callum Johnson, so I don't know if that was just Joe Gallagher saying that in the thing or, or what not. But yeah, I think that that's a really good 50 50 fight. That. What an amazing weekend. Amy Timlin versus Carly Skelly in the match room versus Chisora undercard. I was ringside with Kieran, watching the fight ringside. Even though it was a close fight, I felt like Amy Timlin was just edging the rounds every time because she wasn't taking as much damage. She'd come back to the corner looking fresh. She wasn't getting hit that much. And we could see the punches yeah. that she was landing were doing more damage yeah, to Skelly. More, so yeah, they definitely had more effects, didn't they? It looked like Skelly was getting marked up. Amy was coming back to the corner, fine, she was composed. Um, she kept doing what she was doing and it did look like she was winning even though it was close it was winning the rounds but now I've watched it back the pressure that Carla Skelly put on she did look like she was dictating the pace and Amy was just matching her yeah. what do you think about it Kieran? well obviously on the night when Coogan Cass just come to me backstage I was like literally two minutes after I just got upstairs and you know what I felt like not that she got robbed but I felt like that it was a close fight and I felt like just what you said there that when we was in the corner that the, the telltale in punches was that, cat, that check left up she caught with many times on the way out um, and I felt like they was enough to win the rounds but uh, obviously watching it back like you say that pressure she put Amy under it did look like she was dictating the pace a lot so you know a fair result the 50-50 um, um, uh, in the rounds probably five each you know what I mean but good, yeah. good fair result uh, a uh, good card though, really good yeah. card. After though. the fight as well, Eddie Haynes said straight away, yeah. let's do the rematch. Let's do the rematch, mate. Straight so, away, so. So, and, and he has commented on Twitter as well. Uh, I know Dave Cole, I spoke to him, do you want to get the rematch on? I said, look, let's do it as soon as possible. So look, we have a bit of good luck. Um, that's all we need. We could get the rematch on, hopefully before Christmas. Go beast on them. I go beast. Go deep, I OG on them. Apply pressure, put heat on them. Put that five zero zero degrees on them. Go dummy, go beast on them. I go beast. Go deep, I OG on them. Apply pressure, put heat on them. Put that five zero zero degrees on Chisora fight, Usyk fight, um, did you watch that one? Uh? Yeah, classic boxer versus aggressor, yeah. was Usyk big enough to be a heavyweight? Yeah. So I've heard of some of Chisora's comments now saying Usyk, yeah, is a good boxer, but he's not got the power to it, trouble the big It's funny guy. because when I was watching it, I felt like, I felt like that, that's a true comment. Um, I felt like he looked really good and he's slick and he, he, he was boxing beautiful, but I just don't feel like he's got enough power to hurt, hurt Joshua her uh, Fiore or her Deontay Wilder, them top three guys, they're just like another, like, just, I, his boxing is very good. I'm not going to say that his, his boxing is very good and a, a good box can outbox anybody, but 
these guys are well bigger and that's, yeah. gonna, that's gonna be a telltale impact so if he does come across a Joshua, a Wilder or a Fiora. I think it'd be a good test though, say like Daniel Dubois, yeah. maybe in a, when, when he's ready for it, yeah. Joe Joyce again. Cause yeah. Well the Joe, Joyce, the Joe Joyce fight would be good because Joe Joyce, as much as he is not, um, he still looked the best. He is effective, is effective, and he gets the job done, and that's all that matters. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's all that matters. Savannah Marshall. Savannah Marshall, like she took her apart, she took her apart, didn't she? Yeah. Took her apart. I kind of ranking, like we said before, last week's video, we were saying that, and the ranking's a tough person. It's gonna be an hard test. It's a good test, and Savannah passed it with flying colours. Yeah. And and in women's boxing is great, you know what I mean? Obviously we've got Amy Timlin, you've got all these girls coming through and you've got um the, the Savannah Marshall maybe unifying the division with a fight with Clarissa Shields. So we finished with um Amy Timlin's fight last week. We've got Ben Ridings fighting in the ultimate boxer. Uh, an ex-shooter, you was with him on Wednesday, weren't you? Yeah, we went down to Galvez Gym. Um, ben Riding's got some very good rounds in with Callum Smith. Will Goldie also sparred him. He also sparred Marcus Morrison as well. That was Will Goldie. Um, he's a full professional kickboxer. I sparred with Alex Dumbagani, who's fighting on Channel 5 in yeah. December. He's former world title challenger. Um, Connor Lynn sparred with Callum Thompson, who's making his pro debut soon. He's had 96 amateur fights, he's been on the GB squad for two years. So yeah, quality sparring, Joe Gallagher always looking after his. Yeah. Awesome. He's a good guy in here, um, Joe. Um, yeah, so we've got we've got Ben fighting on Tuesday, it's gonna be a massive this for us. Um, he, he's been out in the ring for 18 months, but you know, look, he's, he's, he, look, he's a fighter, he's willing to take a risk and he's going up there. Um, I think there's been a couple of pullouts in the um, uh, competition, haven't there? Yeah, I've seen Diego Costa's pulled out. Um, is there no one else pulled I'm out? I'm sure Steve Wood left the video saying that Charlie Schofield's got COVID, so I think he'll be out of the competition as well. Um, so they actually are mentioning replacements, a couple of replacements they have mentioned. So look, uh, the show must go ahead though. And the thing is, is Ben's put all this work in for a long time now. It was scheduled in April. Now it's been scheduled to the pandemic show, obviously. Um, we're, we're here at um, November the 10th. It's gonna go down. I uh, think uh, Jack Finchman's making his debut as well on the um, cards. That's yeah. pretty good. Well, what's the other Love Island? Or yeah, Love Island, mate. Love yeah. Island, mate. It's a funny guy. I think he won. No, he won Love Island. Oh, yeah, he won Love Island. Yeah, so he's a he's, he's he's a big reality star. But you know, like look, the guy can box. You know what I mean? He's at thirty amateur fights. He's a top guy. You know, I met him a couple of times, and uh, I wish him all the best. He's fighting Richard Harrison. We know he's a strong, yeah. tough guy. Um, he's a durable fighter. Um, he's on the circuit. On a, when it was back to, when it was normal, we'd see him regular on the circuit. Yeah. So look, he's it's, it's in for a test there, and um, I think that um, I think Jack should just use his jab box and just get the four rounds under his belt. It'd do good. Do you think he's got the potential to be a legit boxer, or is he just doing it for a bit of? I actually spoke to Josh Denzel about this, and Josh was like, "Look, he's a good fighter in that." And I said, "Look, uh, I'd love it if he could go on to win a British title because, like, that'd be some story, like, you know what I mean?" Yeah. And I'll be honest, you know, like I say with any fighter, a little bit of luck, you know, you can go somewhere. So look, I think if he aims for the Southern Area title, then goes for the um, English, and then maybe the British. You know what I mean? It, 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 all these possibilities. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, guys, that's it for this week's episode of Brewing Biscuits. Moving forward, guys, we'll be getting special guests on here. So if you want to let us know by dropping a comment below and let us know who you want on. Well, I might have defended this bad boy against somebody as well, you know. Yeah, I think we can have them that time. Yeah, and David may want it to go. And may, everyone wants to have a go at the champ, you know what I mean? But, you know, uh, the real question is, bro, what is a Gary Baldy biscuit? <laughs>